Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we are starting a new unit. This unit is on bonding and there are a whole bunch of videos here on bonding. So here's the review slide here for the entire unit. You can scroll on through here and you can see there's lots of different bonding videos. So here we go. Bam! The first one here. Intra and intermolecular forces. And this is just a summary here to get us started on this unit. So bonding. Generally bonding. We got two categories here. We got intramolecular forces. Intramolecular forces are within a molecule. So I want you to look at those two molecules there down at the bottom, approximately in the center, a little bit left of center. Okay? And these are very strong bonds. That is, intramolecular forces within a molecule are very strong. I'm going to point out one here for you. Do you see that right there? That is an intramolecular force. That is probably going to be a polar covalent or a covalent bond right there. Okay? So this one is also an intramolecular force, and that is certainly a covalent bond. All right. So metallic bonds are intramolecular forces, and these are bonds between a metal and another metal. Okay, we have covalent bonds, and those are between two non-metals, characteristically, generally. Okay, we also have a polar covalent bond, and that is not really a covalent bond, and it's not really the next type of bond that we'll talk about, which is an ionic bond. But it's somewhere in between is a polar covalent bond. But polar covalent bonds have a huge role to play in biological molecules. Okay, then we have an ionic bond, and ionic bonds are between a metal and a non-metal. Okay, all right, fantastic. So now we have intramolecular forces. Okay, now let's talk about intermolecular forces. That's on the other side. Intermolecular forces are between molecules. Not within a molecule, but between molecules. These are relatively weak in comparison to intramolecular forces. So an intermolecular force, take a look at that uh, structure there down at the bottom, and here is an intermolecular force. And that is that red dashed line. That's actually, in this case, it's going to be a hydrogen bond probably or something similar to that. And those are bonds between two different molecules. These are relatively weak in comparison to the intramolecular force. So here are a few examples of intermolecular forces. So an ion dipole. That is an ion, like a sodium ion or a chloride ion, um, interacting with a molecular dipole. So something has a permanent dipole. We'll be talking about that later on. And then we have van der Waals forces. So the dipole-dipole interaction is a van der Waals force. A special case of a dipole-dipole interaction is a hydrogen bond. And that is a hydrogen combined with either a nitrogen, oxygen, or a fluorine. If you're talking biology, we might expand the nitrogen, oxygen to fluorine and other elements as well. But it's most certainly a polar covalently bound hydrogen with a very electronegative element on another molecule. Then we also have a dipole-induced dipole force as well that has a permanent dipole and something that does not have a permanent dipole. And then we also have an induced-induced force. This is actually the weakest of the intermolecular forces. And this is otherwise known as a London dispersion force. So a London dispersion force, or LDF. Okay? That was our first video in this unit. We got so many more to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.